In this video series, we're going to explore how we can productively use VS Code NeoVim extension. This extension provides us with many features from NeoVim editor that we can use directly inside VS Code. But firstly, before we begin, I would like to mention that this is not going to be the complete course on how to use Vim from scratch. We are only going to explore capabilities of this extension and how we can use NeoVim inside Visual Studio Code. So you already have to know basics of Vim. And also I'm going to show my own Vim configuration file. So let's get started. First of all, we need to install new Vim editor itself. Let's open up the docs. And in here we have a bunch of options how to install new Vim on various operating systems. Since I'm using Mac OS, I'm going to use Homebrew Package Manager to install new Vim. So I'm gonna copy over this command and run it in the terminal. Right after the installation process is finished, to ensure that new Vim was properly installed, we can run the following command nvim and flag v. And if we're going to see new Vim version, that means new Vim was properly installed. The next step would be to install VS Code new Vim extension. So let's open up VS Code extensions panel. In here search for VS Code new Vim extension and press button install. Right after the installation, this extension should be automatically activated. So let's open up any file and try to navigate by using keys L to navigate right and H to navigate left. And if it works, then everything is fine, extension is ready. But if it doesn't work for some reason, we can also specify the path to new Vim executable. First of all, let's find out the path to Vim executable by running the following command in the terminal which and vim and then we can copy this path and paste it into one of the settings with the name new vim executable pass since i'm using mac os i'm gonna have to paste this path into this field which says darwin but i'm not going to do this in here because the default value works good for me another thing to do to finish setup of this extension would be to copy over the following setting and paste it into VS Code configuration file. As it says in here, this setting is going to improve performance of this extension. So let's open up settings.json inside VS Code and paste the new configuration at the very bottom of this file and save the file. So at this point, we have successfully installed VS Code new Vim extension and are ready to move on to the next lesson. All the links that we have used in this lesson will be in the video description.